What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for the Cricut Debut Smart to help you get more familiar with the device. Now as always, before we go any further, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and in case you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to show you is how to change your wallpaper. This is a real easy thing to do. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings, which you can do one of two ways. First of all, you can pull down the shade like this. And as you can see, the settings app is right here. Or if you want, you can open your app drawer by swiping up like this. And the settings app is in here. So as you can see right here, and for me personally, I like to put it on my home screen to make it a little bit more convenient to get to. So to do this, press and hold, drag it off. And now you can put it pretty much wherever you want. But back to changing your wallpaper, first thing you're going to do is go to settings. From this menu, go to display. And from the display menu, wallpaper is right here. And this is going to show you your current wallpaper. To change it, hit change wallpaper. And now as you can see, you can choose between stock wallpapers that are already on the phone or your own photos. And once you have a wallpaper selected, it's going to give you a preview of your home screen and your lock screen. Hit the check mark. And as you can see, you can choose between putting it on your home screen, lock screen, or both. Now that was easy enough, but I'm going to show you a quicker and more convenient way to change your wallpaper and customize the rest of your home screen as well. So all you're going to want to do for this is press and hold your finger on any blank spot on the home screen. And keep in mind it has to be a blank spot. If you touch an app, it's just going to do this. So make sure wherever you're touching, it is an empty spot on the screen. So like this. And as you can see, this menu is going to show up where you can customize your home screen, add widgets, and of course, change your wallpaper. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to manage your notifications. Now of course, notifications from certain apps are definitely useful, and in some cases they can be really important. But that being said, when it comes to other apps like games for example, that's when they get to be a little bit less essential. And the problem with getting a bunch of notifications, besides it just being annoying, is it makes it a lot easier to miss something important. So as you're installing more and more apps, it's definitely important to manage your notifications to make sure you only get ones you actually need. And luckily with this phone, they do make it pretty easy to manage your notifications. So what you're going to want to do is go to settings. From this menu, go to notifications, and from here, go to app settings. So essentially, this is going to show you a list of your apps. As you can see here, there's really nothing here for me, because since I just recently set this phone up, I haven't actually gotten any notifications. But if you are in this situation where you just recently set your phone up, and you want to do it preemptively before the apps even send you notifications, what you can do is hit this drop down, go to all apps, and now as you can see, it's going to show you pretty much all the apps on your phone. And if you have something you don't want notifications from, you can simply toggle it off like this. And as you can see here, there are certain ones that can't be turned off, but in my experience, these aren't really going to send you notifications anyway, so you don't really need to worry about them. But for everything else, pretty much every app that regularly sends notifications, you can turn them off. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to manage your sounds. Now just like notifications, this is really easy to do and we definitely have a few options here. So to get to your sound menu, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings. From the main settings menu, go to sound. And as you can see, the first thing we have is a few different volumes. Media volume is basically if you're doing something like watching a video, listening to music, stuff like that. Call volume. So that's going to be the volume of the earpiece when you're on the phone. Ring and notification volume. And then alarm volume. Both pretty self-explanatory. So you can definitely play around with all these. I personally like to mute the phone myself. So as you can see, when you turn the ring and notification volume all the way down, it's automatically going to put the phone in vibrate. Under this, we got do not disturb, so you can turn it on from here. But another more convenient way to turn on do not disturb is simply by pulling down the shade. And do not disturb is right here. Under this, you can change the ringtone. So if we go here, as you can see, this is the default. You can either set it to none, choose from one of these, or add your own ringtone. Then we got vibrate for calls. Now keep in mind, if you're in vibrate mode, it's going to vibrate anyway. So in that case, this section doesn't make any difference. But if you have your sound on, you can go here. And this is going to allow you to make the phone vibrate and make sound at the same time. Under this, you can change your notification sound and your alarm sound. And it's pretty much the same thing as the ringtone. If you go to one of these, as you can see, we got a few different stock sounds. And you can also create your own. And then finally at the bottom, we have a few different system sounds. So dial pad tones, screen locking sound, charging and vibration sounds, touch sounds, and touch vibration. All this stuff is on by default, but of course if you want, you can always turn it off. Now I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot with the Cricut Debut Smart. This is a real easy thing to do. All you have to do is press the power key and the volume down key at the same time. And keep in mind, you only have to press the buttons, you don't actually have to hold them. There's some phones where you do have to hold the buttons, but this is not one of them. So just go like this. 
and there we go. This toolbar is gonna show up. You can share it, edit it, whatever you want, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you how to get to the power menu. Now with most phones, it's pretty simple. All you normally have to do is press and hold the power key, and the power menu should come up, but with this phone, if you press and hold the power key, it's gonna pull up the assistant instead. So as you can see, there we go. So if you actually wanna to get to the power menu, there are two different ways to do it. First of all, you can pull down the shade like this, hit this icon, and here's the power menu. Or the other thing you can do is press the power key and the volume up button at the same time. So like a screenshot, but with the other button instead, don't hold the buttons, just press them. And again, it's the power key and the volume up key. So like this, and there we have the power menu again. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your screen lock. To do this, what you're gonna do is go to settings, from this menu, go to security. So right here. From the security menu, screen lock is right here. It's gonna have you enter your pin, which you should get when you turn on the phone for the first time. Once you're in this menu, you can choose between none, swipe, pattern, pin, or password. Essentially, none and swipe are pretty much no security at all. Pattern is a little bit more secure. Pin is pretty much the industry standard, giving you a decent amount of security while still being relatively convenient. And then finally, password if you really want high security. In addition to this, if we go back to the main security menu, right under screen lock, you're gonna see face and lock. It's gonna have you enter your pin again. And once you set up face and lock, it is gonna be on by default. So if you want, you can always use this too. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways to make things on your phone a little bit easier to see. As you've probably noticed, at five and a half inches, this phone really doesn't have the biggest display out there. And on one hand, if you want a more compact device, this could be a good thing. But on the other hand, if you're really on your phone a lot, it can be a little inconvenient because of course, with a display like this, things on this display are not gonna be nearly as easy to see as they would be on a larger display. So to help with this, the first thing you can do is change the font size. To do this, go to settings. From here, go to display. From this menu, go to advanced, and font size is down here, so right here. And now as you can see, this is the default size, but you can also make it a bit larger. In addition to this, you can also change the display size, and this is going to basically make things a little bit more zoomed in, which again is going to make everything easier to see. So if we go here, as you can see, again, this is the default size, but you can also make it a bit larger. So now if we go back, as you can see, everything on the display is a little bit easier to see. And finally, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to use dark mode. So there are two different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the normal way first, and then a quick shortcut after that. So first things first, what we're gonna do is go to settings. From here, go to display. And from this menu, right here at the top, dark theme is right here. And as you can see, we are now in dark mode. Another thing you can do from this menu is go here, and if you set a schedule, you can have it turn on from sunset to sunrise or set a custom time. Now, if you don't really care about scheduling and you just wanna to toggle it on and off whenever you feel like it, what you can do is pull down the shade like this. And by default, dark theme is not gonna be in this menu, but what you can do is hit this icon right here, scroll down, and dark theme is right here. Press and hold, drag it up to the actual menu. So like this, go back. And now, as you can see, it's right here, and it's gonna be here whenever you pull down the shade. And there we go, we're now in dark mode once again. But this concludes my beginner's guide to the Cricut Debut Smart. Again, if you wanna learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.